Yesterday, I went over to a friend's house, Boyd May, a uh, little ways away from here, and we tried dipping some boxes in wax for preservation. It was kind of fun. That's what this video is about. I'm gonna put a link to his wax dipping tank in the description below. It was our first time doing this and it seemed to work well. So let's get on with the video. All right, we're down here, it's June 13th. We're down here south of Delville, Alabama. And I got a friend over there. He's right over there in the blue shirt, that's Boyd. We got Mike behind us. We're trying something new today. We've got these boxes we're dipping in wax and they say it's a really good thing. I'm sure some of y'all have some comments on that. People have done it and we're trying it out. Uh, Boyd actually had this uh, wax tank built and we're trying them out and we love it so far. So Boyd, tell me what you did here. Tell us what you got going on what here. What we got going here, well, we'll kind of show you over here. So what we did is we took two deep and we stacked them and we put one deep down the middle okay and then we took a a nook box and we put that across the top to where the brick could weigh it down but we had the bricks weighing it down without the nook box and the problem was the bricks got real hot we got yeah. to where we couldn't pick them up anymore so now we got the nook box and then the brick pushing it down and it seems to be Working, seems to be working great at the beginning we had two of these that burned on the bottom, the one that was laying in there sideways. So we determined we needed to, because it was laying flat on the bottom of the tank, so we determined we needed to get a, to raise it up off of there so wax could flow underneath it. And what you put just kind of a little... I went and got one of my wife's cooling racks. For, yeah, cooling racks. For, for and it's working, working perfectly since then, so it's working well. We're leaving it in there about 12, 12 minutes, 10 to 12, 13 minutes. And you can see the boxes here, um, they just look beautiful. And they've got like a, almost like a oily type feeling to them. But they're still, they're still warm. So as they, um, anyway, they're definitely pretty cool. They look really good. We've heard great things about this. I first heard about this years ago, but recently I saw a video from Cayman Reynolds. And so I think maybe Boyd saw the same video. Saw the same video. Had the same Boyd, ideas. Boyd's the type of guy, he's like, well, I'm going to make one of those tanks. So he got a friend to make this tank. And this is kind of a prototype trying to figure it out, um, how it works. And maybe he'll make more in the future and have some available. But right now, we're just trying to get this thing figured out. So it's a trial and everything. If anybody has any ideas of, of how we can make the process easier, let us know. But it's working pretty well. We can do three at a time this way. And uh, I'm excited about it. And, uh, I, you know, I, I hate painting boxes. You got to do something to protect them. And I have done some copper, dipped some in copper, had some of that in the past. It works okay, but, but what better thing to do than this? Boy, tell us a little bit about what the what is what it is that you have actually in the, the wax. tank, the wax itself. It's, uh, half of it is a mixture of pris uh, paraffin, and the other half is a, it's called crystalline wax. Uh -huh and they work together to, to get into the wood and preserve the wood. Um, we found a company in California that has custom blended it for us to where we don't have to worry about ratios. We just stick it in there and go. Mm -hmm. and, and surprisingly enough, the, cat, the company in California only uses American-made petroleum products too. Well, that's good. <laughs> Absolutely. A couple of kids over there playing. <laughs> <laughs> We may go inside in, in a minute and just look at the boxes of the wax. You said it takes, each box is 55 pounds, right? Yes. And it took five boxes in here. Five to fill it. And he's got quite a bit of extra, so he's got plenty of wax to make a lot, dip a lot of boxes. Okay, so here's one of these boxes of wax. You said they come pre- They come pre-formulated. Pre-formulated, so all you gotta do is put those blocks in there. And, and you get low, you perfect. drop a block in, you don't have to worry about ratios. That's what it looks like, and there's, what, several blocks in there, they're almost kind of stuck yeah. together. You can see, there we go. That's what a block looks like. So it looks like paraffin, but it's a little softer, I think. It's just because it's got that. Um, it's just the mixture, it's the perfect mixture for what we're trying to do. I think paraffin would just be too thick, wouldn't it? It would just probably. Yeah, I, I, I think it wouldn't soak into the, the wood. Soak into the wood is good. 
Okay. I know they both serve a purpose. So each of these that. boxes has a few chunks in there, and how much is it up being a pound? I think it's about a dollar, fifteen dollar twenty pound. Okay. And each box is fifty five pounds. I believe it's upside down, but that's what you got. So just buy boxes of this, you put them in the tank, warm it up, and dip your boxes. So Boyd has this fork uh, tool thing right here, kind of a hook that he's been using and uh, to get them out with. We're still, like I say, we're still trying to figure all this stuff out. We're not necessarily pros at it yet, but we're getting better, I think, every time. Boyd's doing all the work, I'm just watching. Kind of a challenge getting it hooked, but but it works. Look how it brings out the color of that box. That, that piece of wood there on the end had a little bit of a darker grain to it, and it really brings that color out. It's really pretty. Look at that. We got these boxes from Man Lake. Uh, we just got the budget grade, and they're pretty darn good boxes. Shipping was free, and they got here like in three days. So I ordered 55 of each size. It's just kind of a trick to get it on that hook. And over time we may, that's a good system. We may figure out something a little bit better, but Boyd's the pro here already. He's already got it down pat. All right, so we're having an issue with the foaming some. I guess that's just part of the process. And uh, so we did scoot some of the foam out earlier. Um, you definitely, definitely don't want to foam over the edges, but that's kind of what we're doing right now. We'll keep working. This one of Boyd's boxes, he just uh, burned his initials on there. What you gonna do now? Oh, we're gonna toast the outside. All right, we're gonna make it look fancy. We're gonna try to I can't take credit for this. I did see it on, I think it might've been Cameron Reynolds doing it. I like it. Interesting to see how that one turns out. I'm sure it's gonna turn out great. Pretty cool. Good idea. Look at that box. Maybe next time I'll have to do that with mine. Come out this burnt design? The burn look. Yeah, it looks really good. We can do one to make it back. I'm a fan. Now here are the ones we've done so far. Boy's gonna put just a little bit of water on these two right here and see what happens. Look at that. Should I just try this one, Boyd? That is awesome, isn't it? It is. These, uh, check it out. Well, you think they'll be water yeah. resistant? I think so. Absolutely. And you can't even test Simon wet at all where he put that water. And you can awesome. see on the, the boards on your trailer yeah. how that soaked it up. Yeah. Look right here on the top of this one. It's all beat it up. All down there. Good stuff, man. Excellent. They look pretty too. Pulls out all, it accents all the boxes. Look really nice. Okay, he just put these boxes in here. Can you hear them? 
It's just boiling in there, foaming up, boiling the water out, I guess. See that? There's so much foam, it's hard to actually see the bubbles, but I'm sure it's bubbling like crazy underneath that foam. These burn boxes are going to test them. Here we go. Oh my gosh, look at that beating up. Perfect. Perfection. So the burn, it works just as good on that. Yeah. Isn't it that does. awesome? Yeah, it's beating up in the Isn't that awesome? Handle. That is so cool. I think these boxes wow. are going to last a while. Good stuff. All right, we're done out here. Let me turn this thing around. Oh, there's Boyd over there. Boxes behind me. There's the last few. Looking good. So we burned some of them, some of them we kept the same. I think, Boyd, you're going to do all yours burned, aren't you? I'm going to do all mine burned. They I look like really it. nice. So what are your impressions after this first time, Boyd? Um, I like it. I really like it. It's, Got it's a fairly few. easy. I Got yeah. a few things I'm going to change on on the next wax tank. But. Yeah, but we, you know, we made a little mess, but it's our first time, and so I think we'll get better and better. Figure out some different things. And Boyd's thinking about, like I say, I think I said this earlier here. This is a prototype. He's thinking about maybe trying to put together a something where maybe he could sell some of these if people are interested. So just keep that in mind. Not quite there yet. Maybe, maybe you are. I don't know. We're going to kind of try and perfect We're it a close. little bit. I think. We're close. Mike, what'd you think? A lot of fun. A lot of All fun. Right. Enjoy. Would you use these boxes in the future? I would. I'd use these. I mean, that's all that I would use. Yep. Well, the, we did the water test on them earlier, and that was pretty cool. I mean, that just shows you they just beat up, and I'm excited about it. We'll see how it goes. Okay. We got these 30 dipped. We got a few boys dipped. Pretty cool. We'll see how they do. Gonna harvest honey again next weekend. And then I'll be trying to get some of these boxes on hives. We're gonna uh, put some nukes um, that need to be in big boxes, full size boxes in some of these. May replace some old beat up boxes and maybe do some splits. And I've got a few more boxes um, I still gotta put together. I think I got 10 more deeps and like uh, 40 more mediums, actually. I probably won't need a lot of them this year. But uh, it was fun. It was fun to do this. And it takes a while, but if these boxes last several years, it's well worth it, I think. So uh, I think we'll sign off for now. It's been a fun afternoon. It's been a busy weekend. We haven't been in the bees really much. Uh, but I've been doing other stuff, uh, prep stuff for future beekeeping endeavors so from down here uh, south of Delville Alabama down here at Boyd's place Boyd May's place I'm gonna sign off for now and uh, thanks for watching Bruce's bees I'd love it if you would subscribe uh, hit the thumbs up if you like the video and hit that bell for future videos from me thanks for watching on the next video